Android phones have always been a target for hackers and malware. But recently I found a really clever way that someone managed to completely slip through the Play Store's security measures to infect hundreds of thousands of devices. So first up, what is Android malware? It is a piece of software specifically designed to damage or harvest data like contacts, record phone calls, steal your passwords and payment credentials, and potentially even use your phone to mine cryptocurrency. Often the hackers will then go on to sell your information on the dark web for huge amounts of money. And the crazy thing is that a lot of the time this is going on in people's pockets without them having any knowledge of it at all. So at this point you might be thinking, how can I tell if my Android device is infected? And one of the first warning signs to look out for is a sudden change in battery life. Sometimes this is just the reality of batteries nearing the end of their lifespan. However, viruses and malware on your phone use up your phone's resources to fuel the infection. So if after installing a certain application you've suddenly noticed a dip, then that's something to look into. As the malware is often very active on your phone, another symptom is unexplained overheating and extremely slow performance. And aside from on your device itself, just keep an eye out for mysterious charges on your phone bill. If you spot an unusual uptake in data charges or unexplained phone calls and text messages, this could be a malicious app sending data back to the attacker or even a virus trying to spread itself to other devices via text messages or emails. So. How did malware get onto the Play Store? A few weeks ago, Google admitted that they discovered 13 successful apps on the Play Store which contained malware. On the surface, these apps were disguised as perfectly legitimate racing games, but the actual games never existed. The way they got around Google's safety net was that the base packages didn't contain any of the malware. It was actually only when you download it and install the application that the malware would then be downloaded from the internet. And what is quite clever is that whoever built this made it so that when you install these apps, the icons would disappear so that there's a decent chance you'd forget you'd installed them and the malware would just keep existing and spreading. What makes things worse is that two of these malicious apps made it onto Google Play's trending page. And altogether, these 13 apps were installed over half a million times before they were discovered. Now, credit to Google, as soon as they were found out, these apps were immediately pulled from the Play Store. They took action quickly, but this isn't the first time this has happened. Earlier this year, Google disclosed that it had discovered over 700,000 malicious apps on the Play Store in 2017 alone, with tens of millions of devices being affected. So how on earth did this happen? The problem is that, unlike Apple's App Store on iOS, Google does not screen each and every submission to its Play Store. This makes Android a more accessible platform for developers and easier for them to update their apps without any of the delays you'd experience on an iPhone. However, this strength is also one of the Play Store's biggest weaknesses, and it just leaves a small window for hackers to be able to get malicious software on there. That's not to say Apple's ecosystem is immune to malware, but the trade-off of using a far more open and customizable operating system like Android is that you're far more likely to encounter these dangerous apps. So, if you're anything like me and you're scouring the Play Store regularly to try and find new and exciting apps, how do you protect yourself from Android malware? Most of the time it just boils down to having a keen eye and just using a bit of digital common sense. The first potential sign is seeing a whole wall of permission requests when you're about to install an app. Just have a think, does this racing game actually need to read my contacts? The second thing is to just keep an eye on your phone's activity monitor. Not obsessively, but once or twice a week is fine. All you're looking for is applications that are using a lot more of your phone's resources than they should be. And if you keep an eye on this and just keep these applications in check, you'll not only protect yourself from malware, but also extend the length of your phone's battery and probably improve performance too. Finally, when you're on the Play Store, take a moment to read the reviews and look at the number of downloads. It's usually pretty easy to spot the fake apps from the real ones just based on people's feedback. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, it would mean a lot to me if you could smash that subscribe button down below. As always, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.